Force on a semicircular conductor. A wire bent into a semicircle of radius capital R forms a closed circuit. So it's basically a closed circuit and carries a current I. So you can see the current is flowing to the right at the bottom and through the arc it's flowing to the left in the counterclockwise direction. The wire lies in the XY plane. So this is the X axis. This is the Y axis. And uh, as you can see in the figure, uh, a uniform magnetic field is directed along the positive Y axis. So it's pointing up. Find the magnitude and direction of the magnetic force acting on the straight portion of the wire and on the curved portion. So we have this wire which has which forms a closed circuit there is a straight segment a curved segment so i call this straight segment uh, one the curved segment two the current is flowing in the counterclockwise direction magnetic field is pointing up and this has a radius capital r okay this is the x-axis i hat direction y-axis j hat direction and z-axis k hat is coming out of the page <clears throat> so for line segment one the straight wire i'm going to write the magnetic force f1 is equal to i integral from the beginning of the uh, segment at x equals minus r to x equals plus r so this is basically x equals minus r this is x equals plus r, so from minus r to plus r, ds cross with b, the uniform magnetic field. Now, what is ds on this uh, segment? So it's going to be dx in i hat direction. So if I consider a small portion, it's going to be dx, dx in i hat direction. The magnetic field is B pointing in J hat direction. Okay, so this is going to give me I integral from minus capital R to plus capital R DS, which is DX in I hat direction, cross product with magnetic field B in J hat direction. So this will give me I b because b is uh, uniform integral from minus capital r to plus capital r i hat cross product with j hat dx now what is i hat cross j hat i hat cross with j hat using the right hand rule we point our fingers towards i hat curl the four fingers towards j hat the thumb points in plus z direction which is k hat unit vector so this will be i b k hat integral of dx is x which will be evaluated between minus capital r and plus capital r so this gives me for the force on the straight segment 2i b r in k hat direction 2i b r capital r in k hat direction now for line segment 2 the curved segment here what is ds so if this is capital r the radius and we have a small angular displacement here d theta uh, the length of this region the arc length will be equal to capital r multiplied with d theta capital r multiplied with 2 pi gives the circumference of the circle remember so this will be capital r times d theta so it's going to be pointing if i define theta vector to be in the counterclockwise direction in theta hat direction so this ds vector is now r capital r d theta in theta hat direction counterclockwise the force on this segment f2 will be i integral from theta equals 
0 to theta equals pi. So here theta is equal to 0, here theta is equal to pi. R d theta, theta hat cross product with magnetic field in j hat direction. So this gives me I b capital R integral from 0 to pi d theta theta hat cross product with j hat. Now what is theta hat cross product with j hat? So this uh, theta hat vector here, uh, basically it's going to be pointing in this direction, uh, is going to make an angle uh, theta with the magnetic field. So how do we see that? Uh, so this is basically uh, 90 degrees. So you can see here, uh, this is basically the tangential uh, direction. Uh, so this angle is 90 degrees. This is uh, theta. This is going to be uh, 90 minus theta. And since uh, this uh, this is 90, so that's going to be, this angle is going to be 90 plus theta. So we will have uh, 90 plus theta here. Uh, and uh, now you can see that this portion has to be theta uh, so that uh, it's going to be uh, perpendicular uh, to this segment. So this will be 90 plus theta also. So this, this has to be 90 degrees and this has to be theta. Okay, so that's going to make an angle theta with respect to the magnetic field. Uh, so since this is a cross product, we have to consider sine of the angle between them. So Theta hat has a magnitude 1, j hat has a magnitude 1. The uh, angle between them is theta, so it's sine theta. Now, what is the direction? Uh, point four fingers towards theta hat, curl them towards k hat, the, uh, curl them towards j hat because magnetic field is in j hat direction. So four fingers towards theta hat, uh, curl towards the j hat direction. The thumb points into the page, so it's in minus k hat direction. So this is minus k hat. <clears throat> now, if I continue with this calculation, uh, the force on the curved segment F2 will be equal to I B capital R integral from zero to pi sine theta d theta in minus k hat direction. So this will be I B capital R. Now, if you take the uh, minus sine theta uh, integral, minus sine theta is the derivative of cosine theta. So this will be cosine theta evaluated between zero and pi k hat because I have used the minus sign uh, for this part and cosine theta will be I B capital R cosine of pi is minus one minus cosine of zero is one. So that's minus one in uh, k hat direction. Uh, so the force on the curved segment, I will find minus two I B capital R in K hat direction. Okay, so for the straight segment, it was plus two I B capital R in K hat. For the curved segment, it's minus two I capital B R in K hat. So this is basically a force couple. You can see here. Okay, so we've considered force on a semicircular conductor, which forms a closed circuit for the a straight segment, it's just actually I L cross B, where L is uh, 2R, so it, it's uh, 2I B R K hat. So actually, without even performing this integral, you can use I L cross B. So this is also equal to I L cross B, where now L is 2R in 
i hat direction cross product with magnetic field in j hat direction so you will obtain exactly the same answer to i b r k hat for line segment two we have a non uh, linear shape uh, therefore we need to use integration for sure that's going to be i integral ds cross with b for ds we have the arc length r d theta in theta hat direction counterclockwise magnetic field is in j hat direction b j hat so we have i b r d theta integrate from zero to pi theta hat cross j hat what is the angle between theta hat and j hat so uh, you can see that this is the tangential uh, this is the tangential vector for this uh, circle so it's going to make an angle theta uh, with respect to the uh, tangent uh, with respect to the j hat direction here if you continue in this direction you would get this is 90 degrees this is theta 90 plus uh, theta so uh, the same thing is through here so this is 90 theta uh, so you would have uh, 90 plus theta uh, here so um, this is going to make 90 degrees here uh, so this is uh, basically going to make this angle theta okay so what is the uh, cross product theta hat with j hat it's sine theta in minus k hat direction using the right hand rule i can see if i point my forefingers towards the tangential direction and curl them towards the magnetic field j hat direction the thumb points into the page minus k hat integral of minus sine theta d theta is cosine theta so that gives me minus 2 i b uh, capital r k hat so these two form a force couple